always said that I would never be a candidate. I've always worked on um, social issues. Um, poverty and social injustice are very important to me. But I was never really interested in political life per se. But I think that's what's happening now in our political arena is that it is more like a circus than anything else. And I think I've had enough and I think that my constituents have had enough. We need to change the conversation. Well, here's the problem with the whole budget for the state. Um, we didn't have a deficit before SB 21. And I am not going to ask Alaskans to give up their PFD earnings or to pay income tax until multinational corporations are paying their fair share. In Iraq, an oil company gets $2 a barrel, and people are shooting at them, and they still find it profitable. And here they want more, and they expect the state government to build the infrastructure for them. These mega projects, they should pay for themselves. Well, this is kind of a redundant answer. I mean, I'm not going to ask hardworking Alaskans to pay a tax when multinationals are walking away with our resource and our money. This is our oil, and we should get our benefit from it. And we also need to look at severance taxes for mining. Well, I think we have an immediate crisis in terms of policing and manning our police. We, we have many empty positions, and that needs to be rectified. We have to be have better benefits for our troopers and better situations for them to work in. Um, they have to have more, you know, chance to live where their families can grow and not have to move around to different communities. So we need locally-based troopers. And the real problem with crime is not the crime itself. It's what, what grows the crime. And what grows crime, we have known this forever, is lack of education, lack of skills, lack of jobs, and poverty. And, that, and poverty is not a, man, is not, um, a natural thing. It's man-made. And it's something that we can unmake if we choose to do that. Well, we don't have a lot of treatment facilities. And we don't have a lot of options for people. And you have to look again at what drives people to drugs and alcohol. It is, again, hopelessness, despair, lack of education, lack of job skills, lack of jobs themselves, and poverty. We have to change that. It's a, it's a root thing. Crime. People want to feel safe. People, people are worried about security, and, and, and crime is one aspect of security. People have a right to feel safe in their homes and in their persons. They also have a right to know that they're going to be able to put food on the table for their children. And we have food banks out in the Matsu. Over half of the population of the Matsu at one point visited the food bank last year. This is not just poor people. This is not just homeless people. This is not just unemployed people. These are people who can't make ends meet because we don't have living wages and good jobs. That has to change. You know, I think that people like to get into the argument about climate change, about whether it's man-made or not. Well, I'm going to say this, it doesn't matter. We have a problem. It's changing faster than it's ever changed before in natural history. Our obligation is to make it stop changing so fast in any way we can, stop contributing to it in any way we can, and try to secure a planet that is livable for our children and our grandchildren. And in that, we can also build an economy, because we need to transition to a non-fossil fuel based economy to renewables and we can begin building the grids on a small scale basis for communities in renewables solar wind geothermal we can do this and it will create jobs as well we also need to rebuild our crumbling infrastructure you know our bridges and roads are pathetic in much of alaska I would try to diversify the economy. I would try to transition into the new renewable energy economy, train for those jobs, train our workforce for the economy that's coming, because we're not doing that. And we need to transition now. 
the, um, we also need to look at broadband as part of infra infrastructure. We could put broadband in across the state and increase economics and education in every area of our state. I do support it. I have some reservations, but I think that they can be amended as we go. I think we need to fully fund it. And I think we really need to start looking at education not as an expense, but as an investment. Um, we need to fund pre-K all the way through um, college and trade schools, because our trades are, are needing more people to work and we haven't got them trained. 